Welcome to the latest episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be introducing our entry level Zotac GeForce 9400 GT. Inside the box, you'll find the Zotac GeForce 9400 GT graphics card with dual link DVI, VGA, and TV outputs. Bundled with the graphics card is a DVI to HDMI adapter. a SPDIF audio input cable to route audio over HDMI, and a TV output adapter featuring component and S-Video outputs. To demonstrate the performance of the graphics card, we'll be installing in our mainstream system featuring a Zotac GeForce 8300 motherboard, an AMD Phenom X4-9550 processor, 2 gigs of Patriot DDR2 memory, and a Western Digital Caviar hard drive. Zotac recommends a minimum 300 watt power supply to use with the Zotac GeForce 9400 GT. It does not require additional power connectors. The Zotac GeForce 9400 GT is an entry-level graphics card featuring 16 screen processors and 512 megs of DDR2 memory. We'll be demonstrating the performance using the games Crisis and Grid. In a demanding game such as Crisis, you can expect around 42 frames per second at a resolution of 800 by 600 with low quality textures and no anti-aliasing. Such as Grid, you can expect around 62 frames per second at a resolution of 800 by 600 with low quality settings and two times anti aliasing. And that concludes this episode of the Zotech Video Podcast. Thank you for joining us.